Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Infinity on the Rycraft server. I'm Clobberstomp, and last episode, we were talking about moving all of our stuff. We moved all of our stuff over here. I still haven't done a lot with the, uh, you know, design and things like that, but I think I figured out why it didn't work. Um, the wireless. So I think I moved all the stuff without a little prematurely, without thinking that there was an issue. We were talking about how having more of these in the system causes this to use more channels. Well, I think I might have done that over here, which is causing it to be offline over here, but not offline at the other side. So I think that's what the issue was. I'm obviously not going to take that whole thing back and test it. I could take this over to the other side and test it. Uh, which I probably will at some point, but I thought I would show you guys that. But I wanted to get into this today because check this out. We've got a nice green area. And what we're going to do today is start setting up our seed oil production. And I put that backwards, which is fine. So I've got this, and I think this does an 8 by 1, 2, 3 four five six seven eight all right this should be good enough and then one, two three four five six seven either way i think this is going to be pretty good pretty good spot let's yeah yeah we'll be fine there so let's take our upgrade and we'll put that in there increase by seven so we should be okay with that um one thing that i think we can do is put this here how are we going to design this so we won't really know I guess I could put some flowers down let's get some flowers I want to see what the radius of this thing is and we'll use glow flowers biomes of plenty should get those we're going to have to do a bunch of filtering on this I think are you gonna work oh let's make sure you're getting energy yes and then let's make sure you're actually getting energy by using these guys there we go work RF will these not okay hmm and I don't have any energy nodes. We do have some of those. Do I have any pipes in here? Those are Fluix transfers. We need some of these. Um, did I put those back in the system? Let's see. Fluix ducts, void pipes. Where did I put those? I don't, I'm fairly certain I did not use them all. Hmm. Actually, 100% certain I didn't use them all. Well, we only need two, so let's get those. Resonant Fluix Duct. Energy RF. Okay. Great, so let's... Will you actually work? Oh, we have bone meal. Let's bone meal this. There we go. Let's see how you're going to do. Oh, this might need an output. That might be why it's not working. Yeah, it needs an output. So let's get a chest. Just for the time being, get one of you and see where this gets us. Let's put this here. I want to see kind of what the... Nice. <laughs> there we go. And see if... What the radius of this thing is, really. Hmm. It worked. It got one. One flower. Hmm. 
Okay, so it's got some flowers. Let's see if we can see where it is going. Okay, so it's doing this whole thing, actually. Which is good. So we can set up our aqueous accumulators here. And this is going to get the rest. We can get rid of those guys because those are not going to work. Okay, so we know how this is working. It has sludge. We're going to have to figure out how to get rid of a sludge. And here it's getting seeds. And we can take, now, now that it's taken all these seeds, we can take these seeds and pump them into a squeezer. But first I wanted to see how far the radius on this bad boy was. And it looks like it's pretty big, so I don't think we're going to have too much of an issue doing this whole area. I'm going to let this sit and make sure that we get the full effect. I think we're going to get the whole thing. Pretty sure we should be okay. Let's see here. And then what I'm going to end up doing is, I think, that's, okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's eight on one side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the other. So actually, I think I can get rid of this one side. Or, yeah. Or what we'll do is we'll do that. Nah. We'll do it like this. Then we'll add this side. So it's even. Eight on both sides. We'll have to get some more. Because these aren't going to go back here. We can get this going. Does it do the whole thing? It does do the whole thing. So that's perfect. Great. It might actually do one more, but we don't really need it. So I think what we'll do now that we have this is we will take our aqueous accumulators and we're going to put them... I think what we'll do is we'll do here. Actually, no. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we can do there and there. Mm. We'll do it there. There we go. That way it's, and we'll make it even. I don't know how far the sprinklers get, but we'll see. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to put sprinklers on top of these guys. Now let's take these guys. And we're going to put a sprinkler on top of here, like so. And that doesn't work. we got to place it this way. Okay, get rid of you. Place a sprinkler on top of that guy, and on top of that guy, and on top of that guy. So now we can build this out with... We may or may not need more. And we can put source blocks of water in there. So this should start spraying. Are you working? There it goes. How far does it get? Not very far. Not as far as I thought it would get. You know what? Maybe what we do is we do it like this. Maybe what we do is we put these just like right in the middle. Like this. We'll put you there. Boom. And we'll place the sprinkler like this. I think this will work. Yeah, it takes away three more blocks from the equation, but... I think that's okay. And these don't require any... I should have brought more water buckets, but it's okay. We can go pretty fast. There we go. And this should get overlap as far as we need to. Goes into the middle, and I think what we'll do is we'll put the other one 
here. Perfect. So let's get rid of you. There we go. Put you down. Aqueous accumulator. Seed oil production commencing. Okay, and let's get water. Mm hmm. And then another bucket of water. There we go. Perfect. And then we'll move these other two in as well. And we've got them all going. Easy day. Perfect. All right. So we should be getting tons of seeds here. Excellent, which is exactly what we want. So now what we can do is we can set up our squeezer setup. Now what I want to do, and we may even have to do this a little bit back further. So let's actually put this, hmm. <coughs> We're going to move this three blocks away. Reason being is one, two, three, and we're going to put it fourth one away. Because we may have to use some filter pipes to get rid of things, which is okay. That's not a problem. So we're going to take this guy, and then we're going to take... We need to power it. No, not that, buddy. Okay. Do we have power? We've got one. We don't have any more of these, really? Seriously? I've used them all? Hmm. Let's go see. Did I just leave them in here? Those are all my patterns for auto crafting. We don't have anything there. Energy. These do 5120. We'll take these. This should be all we need for the squeezer. I mean, we're only going to have one. And actually, we could do this on both sides, which would be fine. So now, will that still open? Yeah. We can bring this across like so, so it gets power. Are you getting power? Yep. So that's good. So now what we can do is we're going to put a liquid transfer node on this guy. And we're going to squeeze that into a bedrockium drum. And if we put some seeds in there, that should make seed oil and turn this into seed oil. Perfect. All right. So now what we need to work on is figuring out what seeds do what and then getting rid of all the, the other stuff. So we can put in... Uh, what do we got? Filter pipes, which we have four. One, two, three. Whoopsies. Okay. So now what we can do is anything that goes to the yellow pipe, actually, I want to do this a little bit differently because we want garbage cans to be on the top. Get rid of you, and we'll do it this way. And no, not the sprinklers. Here we go. We'll just do it off this way. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that's getting power. Shouldn't be getting any seeds. And what we're going to need to do is make some filter item filters. I think we have some item filters. We do have that one. Wow. That one's full of stuff. We don't want that. What does it take to make these? All right. Let's just make a stack of them. So now that we have all of our things that go through here, we want everything that goes through the yellow pipe. And we may have to even kind of screw around with this a little bit because... Hmm. Well, let's make sure all of these seeds go through. Do you go through? Are you getting more? Okay, those work. So wolfbane seeds work, which I forgot to keep one. We know water artichoke seeds do, so let's add that to a filter. 
And how many spaces do we have in this filter? Nine. Um, let's check potato seeds. Do you work? Potato seeds. Yep. So we can take the potato seeds and put them in there. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to put all the seeds that we need in there perfectly. So snowbell seeds I think we can do as well. We're just going to add that to the filter. I'm sure they work. Um, we need cotton seeds. Let's make sure they work. I'm sure they do. There we go. Yep. Yeah, so you can see that certain seeds require certain outputs. So we may actually have two outlets from this chest that go down and then over into this pipe. So it just goes through. So actually, I don't think we need one there. I don't think we need one there. Because then we can put another one here. Yeah. Perfect. So I'm going to get this going and then I'll show you the final product. So I'm just going to keep adding all these seeds to the filter. I think we'll be fine. Uh, we'll get rid of you guys. I did those already. Carrot seeds, regular seeds. What are those? Industrial hemp seeds. That's kind of cool. Belladonna seeds. I think that's all of them. Perfect. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Get rid of you. And we're going to have to get an item transfer node. Right here. Yeah, we knew that was going to happen. But this is going to be a filter pipe. So put one in there. Can we do that? Nope. You can put the filter pipe after, which is fine. Um, and then we're going to put a regular pipe after. And anything... We're going to put this in yellow. So only the right stuff can go through here. And for some reason, that got full. OK, so it's going to fill up with stuff that we don't need. But it should pass through stuff that we do. What? There we go. So those should go through. Yes. So now what we need is another filter for dandelions and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a trash can on top of this so let's get a trash can we didn't actually have to make a cut perfect trash extra utilities fluids energy oh interesting so we'll Let's get a couple of them just in case we need more than one. I don't think that we will. And we're going to put this right on the top. Whoa, not two of them. And then anything that's white is going to go into the next filter. So let's take another filter. And we're going to take this filter and it's going to have dandelions. It's going to have those in it. Okay, what else is stuck in here? Okay, so we should be able to put this in here like so, in the white one. And this should get everything. Ooh, I do have to get garlic. And I think we have to add mandrake seeds to the other filters. So let's see. Does this have mandrake seeds? Nope. So let's take mandrake seeds. Add that there. Perfect. And then we'll put this filter back in number, or number, uh, yellow. And then I think we'll, we'll get rid of actually anything else. We can put a chest here. Yeah, let's do that. Wireless, chest. Um, let's take this chest here. Anything else can go in there. Okay. This should get rid of everything. Perfect. And this is filling up. 
I don't think this will squeeze garlic, will it? It doesn't squeeze garlic. Do we put garlic in here? No, we didn't. And so let's put this back in here. Oh, that's not quite what we want. We want those to go. <laughs> that didn't work the way I expected it would. Hmm. Well, I'm going to work through this. All and right, we I are right back, back. And I think I've got the whole system going. So in this item filter, I've got dandelions, poppies, industrial hemp seeds. I might actually take the industrial hemp seeds and move them to something else. I don't really know what they're for. What are they for? Immersive engineering. Advanced plant crops. Okay, that's interesting. So you can make these. So what's the other thing that you can do with them? R. U. Uses. Crop produce. Industrial hemp fiber and a crop producer. This is if you get into immersive engineering, which we haven't done. I could filter these out into a bioreactor. Which we might do. Or a crop producer. But for now, I'm probably industrial squeezer, plant oil, not seed oil, plant oil. So we might actually filter these off into something else as well. Um, but right now, we're just passing everything through, through the system. And I also put in a stack upgrade here so it moves the whole stack. So anytime this thing gets anything going, it'll just automatically shoot in there. So this is our system. Um, now, the other thing that I got to do is I have to get rid of the sludge. Now, let me see. I'm going to take a cut here and see what it's going to take to probably do the sludge, to get rid of the sludge, because um, this will work much better if the sludge is being, uh, if you get rid of it. Um, but right now, we've got almost a bucket of seed oil. So this is kind of going, and it will just work automatically cool so I will be right back all right guys we are back and I made a sludge boiler I am just wiring it up and I'm gonna see what this does I'm not quite sure um, are you actually moving the liquid maybe I need some speed upgrades in there ooh okay that's working seems to be working okay I'm not getting any effects now I am now what is that okay it's kicking out something what did I get oh peat it's making peat where does it kick it out of this thing hmm I guess maybe what we do is we put an item deal on here and then send it back into the system. Did you get stuff in here? Okay, so I'm hoping that works. It may or may not. Let's see if we can run this back um, actually I think what we'll do is we'll do it this way there we go whoa no 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 okay up 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 sometimes doing stuff on camera doesn't really bode well alright so I don't know what we can use this peat for but that's kinda cool I'm sort of excited to be able to use this because I've never used it before so we can see what that's for. And then we can take these. And I guess into the system like this. We'll have to figure out if Pete gets put in here or not. And if this is actually working. Now did it get put into the bin? It did get put into the bin, which we don't want. We want it to go up and over, which we can do like so. This is super crude, I know. 
I know it is. So then we can take this, and it can also be sending items. Perfect. So we can get this. We can put this back here. And that should be working now. This is, I'll have to put some facades here or something, but. So this should be working. Cool. So we're making peat now as well. Yeah, the reason I put it down there is because if you don't, um, you get you get hurt, which we don't want. Uh, you saw me getting clicked there, which is no good. Actually, I think what we'll do is we're going to change the way this is working, and we're just going to bring it up right there. Okay, we're going to just change this whole thing. Okay, get rid of you. Get review, get review. No, no, no. All right, let's put the sludge boiler back. Perfect, and then we'll put you there. And we will go out and then up. Yes, thank you, ouch. There we go. Perfect. Oh, not perfect. Almost perfect. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, let's fill this back in with our limestone. So it doesn't look ridiculous. There we go. Perfect. There we go. So now we've got Pete going back into the system. We can test this. Let's just make sure it is working peat in there, make sure it goes away. Heat sand, Natura. Are you going to go back into the system or no? You're not working? Sending items, receiving items. Uh, sending all, receiving all. Uh, let's get a ME transfer. ME interface. Which we don't have one in there. We have some in here. ME interface. Okay, there. And then. Wow, can you please slow down? There we go. ME interface, there we go, and then we will put you here. Are you getting anything coming in? Not sure that it will, no idea. Sending, receiving all. Let's see if it got rid of the peat. If it did, I think we're good going so quickly and it did so we should be good let's just test one final test and I think we're gonna be good is checking to make sure that it is in our system take you Pete there it is we have a automated setup so this will just run when we're offline so we're gonna be making seed oil which is great and for some reason, oh, we need to do something with the garlic, don't we? That's why. We're going to just get rid of the garlic. Crap. Okay, let's get rid of you. Let's let this just fill up. Let's get another piece of garlic. Maybe we have one in our system. And we don't, so I have to wait for another one. Ah. Okay. Unless there's one here. Or did it go through? It didn't go through. Okay, we, well, I will wait for a piece of garlic 
to come. We'll add that to our system, and I think we'll be done. But anyways, I think this is an episode. So, as always, guys, I hope you liked this episode. If you did, stomp the like button. This really helps me out when you do so, and it lets me know that you're supporting the channel and you like what I'm doing. So, as always, don't forget to like and share on your favorite social media, and I will catch you in the next episode.